This is the Asus Tough Dash F15. It's a formidable machine on all fronts. You can go all the way up to an 11th gen i7 with a GeForce RTX 3070 laptop GPU with up to 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of solid state storage. And if you really want to, Asus have left some slots on the motherboard to add another SSD if you need to expand the memory and an extra bit of RAM if you need a little more multitasking power. And in my opinion, the F15's hardware is on point for all of your GPU and CPU intensive apps that you might use at school. And that goes for no matter what configuration of this you go for. And when it's time to play, the Tough Dash F15 does offer one of the best displays out there for gaming. And here's a nice little addition. They actually give you a gaming mouse in the box with the laptop. The base model has a fast 144 Hertz IPS panel, but if you want to, you can go up to a 240 Hertz display with 100% sRGB color gamut. But no matter what display you choose, when paired with the groundbreaking Nvidia DLSS frame rate boosting technology, games like Red Dead Redemption 2, Call of Duty Warzone, Cyberpunk 2077, and the upcoming Battlefield will run faster on the Asus Tough F15. And this is thanks to third gen tensor cores found on the RTX GPUs. And you'll be able to run games with ray tracing switched on thanks to the RT cores, which means you're going to get cinematic graphics and accurate lighting and reflections. Now let's talk about some of the excellent design aspects on the Dash F15. The frame of the F15 is skinny at just 19.9 millimeters. And I believe Asus call this the tough F15 because it meets military standards 810H. And do you realize what this means? The F15 can survive small drops and shakes. And the fact that it's this robust, given how narrow the screen bezels are, it really is awe-inspiring. And Asus have built the F15 to run in temperatures of up to 49 degrees Celsius with humidity up to 95%. So if you're planning a trip to the Amazon jungle, you're good to go. And if you get bitten by a snake, you'll be good because you'll still be able to Google the antidote. And if you decide to go on an expedition to the North Pole, the F15 can run in temperatures as low as minus 32 degrees. So that is pretty cool. And on that note, check this out. The gamer hit keys on the keyboard have this really nice cool blue backlight and they kind of look like ice cubes. And they have a decent amount of travel at 1.7 millimeters. And there are four fan outlets and heat sinks on the F15 with 83 blade fans. And these will help the airflow through the five cooling pipes built in. And I did put this laptop through some heavy and intensive gaming sessions on Call of Duty Warzone. And a little side note, to get the optimal performance, it's good to have DLSS enabled in quality mode within the settings. And I can tell you games like Warzone are a breeze for the Asus Tough Dash F15. And what's really gonna give you the edge in games like Warzone and Apex is the F15 supports Nvidia Reflex, which will decrease in-game latency, making your laptop even more responsive and helping you get the gaming edge by allowing you to react with cat-like reflexes. So if you like what you hear so far, then you're gonna like this too. When it's time to turn up the volume, there are two speakers built in and they support DTSX. But check this out. Sometimes you're gonna to need to study in silence, for example, in a library or something like that, or in a quiet workspace. The Asus Tough Dash F15 has a whisper mode. It's whisper mode 2.0, which will reduce the noise levels of the fans to your desired volume. And Asus have thrown in two-way AI noise canceling for the mics. And this works not just when you're talking, it'll block out the background noise, but also when people are talking to you, it can cut off the background noise there as well. So for conference calls, this is gonna be really handy. And it's important to note that there is no webcam built into the F15. And this is actually the perfect excuse to not appear on a video conference call. And if you do wanna appear on video, Asus have some software on board where you can pair your phone to the laptop and use your phone's camera as your webcam, which I think is a really good idea because you're gonna get a better, more flattering angle and a better quality picture from your smartphone. And that's because in most cases, the smartphone's camera is gonna be much better than any built-in webcam on a laptop. Now let's talk about the I.O. ports, the ins and outs. There are so many, including the audio jack, three USBs, 
a HDMI, an RJ45, which is gonna be really important for you gamers out there who wanna get the fastest speeds from your internet provider. And there's a Thunderbolt 4 with display port 1.4. And this also supports Type-C charging as well. So if you don't have your power brick with you, you could potentially use a USB-C charger for your smartphone or something like that to charge up your laptop. It won't be quite as quick, but it will work. But the actual power supply provided can get your 76 watt hour battery just built in to 50% in just 30 minutes. And if you're gonna pick one of these up for a back to school laptop, then trust me, you're gonna have all of the power and speed that you need to succeed. And you'll also be able to get some of your schoolwork done on it too.